Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at FITM for the opening of the 11th Annual Outstanding Art of Television Costume Design. Congratulations on the nomination. Thank you. Thank you. Dancing with the Stars, this is kind of a regular for you guys because you guys get nominated, it seems like, every single year. But you guys have so many challenges week to week because you sit there and you finish up the Monday night show and you're cranking out for next week. Yeah, the turnaround's really fast. It's less than a week and everything's custom made. So it's, it's, it's tough because it's like hundreds of costumes every week and different themes. And we also have to dance the extra background dancers too. So it's not just the celebrities and our pro dancers, but then also the troupe that dances with them too. Now, all the beating, I know you guys work really hard on that. How much, how labor intensive is something like that? Um, it's all hand done. It's all Swarovski crystals and it's all, you know, everyone says it, it takes a whole village. The departments, they are constantly, once it's made, they're like, then it goes to the stoning part. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is it, are you, are you working around the clock on these during the season? I've got to imagine. I have to ask. It's it is. It's yeah. like seven days. Everyone's there seven days. And unfortunately, Daniela, who also is the co-designer on the show, is not here. But yeah, we work nonstop trying to make it, you know, live because it's also live. So that's another. Yeah, that's challenge. a whole other al element. Sometimes there is that old wardrobe <laughs> malfunction. Yeah. It does happen everywhere, like a yeah. strap falls and things yeah. like that. And you have to leave a space for, for microphone packs too, because yeah. a lot of them are wearing microphone and packs. That is that's a that's a thing where it's also if they're landing differently, it could hurt them when they land on it. So during rehearsal, we have a rehearsal like two hours before the show. Yep. And um, the first time they wear the clothes is during dress rehearsal. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of scary. So yeah, Danielle and I are standing back there like, okay, hopefully no changes and hopefully nothing falls out. And we're like, literally, I mean, it's stressful, like because we don't know because they haven't danced in it before. So they're wearing it two hours before. I know at one point, and I don't know if it was Disney Week one week, but there, someone had a really long like trainer gown, and you guys had to actually shorten it because they were tripping over it. Yeah, we do that too because again, some of the celebrities aren't used to dancing at such volume, or you know, we don't even see the choreography yet until they're in the costume. So you never know. Yeah. Who do you appreciate? Because I know that the the pros have input on what they're kind of you know design wise. Whose input that you, know, you always go, I know we're going to get something super creative or really interesting because they've got some really fabulous ideas. Yeah, you know what? Mark Ballas, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> we miss yeah. him so I much. Know. I know. We love Mark Ballas. Um, yeah, he's been everything. Like, I'm just waiting to see what, you know, will be next season. But, like, yeah, we don't know yet. But, but, yeah, we missed him, you know, not having him on the show. Um, but he's been everything. He's been like... He gets really creative. Gets he gets really creative. He gets really into it, yeah. From video games yeah. to like frozen monsters, oh, like yeah. whatever Man. comes up. Edward Scissorhand. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland. I love oh, yeah. that with... that rabbit? Oh, with Willow. Yeah, yes. with Willow. Yeah, and it was kind of that dark, twisted, you know. So we always do a little twist to his outfits because he likes that, you know. And it makes it creative for us. So it's always challenging, but I always love, you know, working with him. Can we talk a little bit about this Nick and Peta piece? Uh, obviously, um, a lot of work. And I was like looking at Peta, and I'm like, was yeah. she really that tiny after? She is. She's still tiny. After having Sky, I was like, yeah. come on. No, she's still extremely tiny. Yeah, this one actually was for the song Poker Face. Um, and actually, this one was a last minute thing too, because originally the Ace, that was supposed to be Ace of Spades, Those and then cards custom -made. yeah, we yeah. custom made the cards, right? Oh, Karina, cards right? Were custom printed. Holy cow! At rehearsal. At rehearsal, they, they want him to be the king now, because I don't know, because she was a queen, and they want him the king. But originally, it was because the ace kind of trumps over the queen. I don't know. So, so right before new concept. New concept. So <laughs> then we had to make him a king. Yeah, but it kind of has kind of that twist of like you know the cards up his sleeve. You know, if you notice, like that's kind of like a little subtle thing you know and it was a beautiful dance he did a great job you know it really is incredible and i'm always just impressed with the work that you guys bring out every single week how often now that you are moving into season 25 how often are you guys reusing costumes or reinventing them maybe you know like we it's because we have so many themes we don't even reuse any of the costumes unless it's for like you know, our, a group number. Yeah. So everything's custom made every week. Yeah, so, but it's challenging. I, I do like the themes because it gives us more creativity. So you're not repeating an outfit all the time. Have you thrown in there like, we need this theme because we want to do the wardrobe for this costume? No, unfortunately idea. not, That's a good idea. right, <laughs> Karina? Unfortunately not. I wish we could because that, that would actually help us so much. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, I can think ahead of time. I can yeah. pre-plan. 
Well, congratulations. The work I know is excellent. I watch the series nonstop, Aww, so you. always great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. September 18th, September 18th, I know. I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what you think the best dress show on TV is.